uh, from this platform. Let me first thank uh, uh, Mr. Ashok Ramsaran uh, and uh, many other members of the GOPIO who have given me this wonderful uh, opportunity. Manish too and uh, everyone else here. Uh, there's a lot to talk but I know the, the, everything has to be compressed because the time is really running very fast. Uh, in the academic domain, and this is the agenda that I have before me, uh, in terms of the way, how, what are the way forward, what is the way forward in the academic domain? Few things have been done. We have a couple of publications and I was just talking to Ambassador Shishank just a while ago. He said he has come across a, a publication on all uh, diasporas over the world from the Center for Diaspora Studies. But it is only a, a small preliminary publication. You need to know much more details of the people all over the world. We are, we are mentioning that 110 countries have Indian diaspora. And we need to have all the details as a database with us to deal with the Indians everywhere, to know about their conditions, what are the issues they come from, because each country has its own specific issues, socio-economic and political issues. So we need to identify some of these which uh, need to be extensively researched. So I hope uh, maybe in the uh, course of time, the GOPIO can take this as a uh, significant agenda and pursue building up a strong database on uh, Indian diaspora. A few publications have come. There is an encyclopedia of Indian diaspora published from, uh, um, from, from Singapore, but then uh, it's only limited and sketchy. You need a holistic um, data dealing with when you talk about the encyclopedia. Uh, then um, you know, the high-level committee has identified there are certain issues which need to be pursued by the government of India. But I know that government of India cannot pursue, I will not pursue, unless there is a push. And Gopio has a very important role to push the government to get into the domain which need to be attended to by the government. I, in a number of uh, situations about the education, extension of education, I remember during the early discussions of the high-level committee that there has to be a symbiosis, a kind of a synergy built between India and the Indian diaspora world over in the field of education. It's a very broad domain. Education would mean covering all domains of knowledge, to, from sciences to the social sciences, from technology to, uh, to, to other uh, um, areas which need to be extended to. And these uh, diasporic scholars, people who have the knowledge to be connected with India, with the Indian institutions, therefore, the coupling of or linkages between India and Indian diaspora need to be extensively pursued in the field of education as much as many other domains. And uh, uh, recently I had to come across a, a conference for which I was invited to speak on India beyond India. And as I was visualizing how India can be when it becomes borderless, how does it become borderless? When we really break the barriers that we have already have in, then it becomes borderless. And you can see India much beyond the frontiers of Indian country itself. And that is where the world is going to be under the contemporary globalization, which takes us far beyond the boundaries where we are located. And uh, I hope um, the GOPIO will help in terms of building up such a strong bondage between India. Thank you very much. I catch up with a brief note. Thank you.